We're making belaying pins. I have for some time had this desire to do this instead of just using cleats down at the, uh, at the bottom of the mast for holding the halyards. And uh, so anyway, this is what I came up with. And so it's just a little, little belaying pin. I do not have a lathe, so um, I just started out with a piece of white oak and uh, just started taking it down on the sander. I did some of the initial cuts with um, the bandsaw and kind of got my lines where I wanted them and then just did a little bit of, would you stop? Did a little bit of uh, trimming with a chisel, a little bit, but mostly it was just a sander. Clearly a lathe would be a help, but I don't have one. So anyway, I'll kind of show you some of the pieces of oak that I'm using and uh, how I did my wood selection. I feel like I've been talking a lot about process lately and just uh, how the boat building mind works. And I've been thinking about these belaying pins for a long time. The other day we were cleaning out some stuff in the basement and I found these old oak balusters that I've had down there for a long time and I had two of them. And I got to looking up here at the top of this and I'm like, man, I really like the shape of that. And if I just cut that off right at the top there, I kind of got the makings of like a, a belaying pin. And then I was like, well, I don't think this is long enough. I don't like that particular part of it. But it started the, it started the process. It got me thinking. So anyway, I still have tons of pieces of oak laying around. This is actually a piece that was um, cut off like off of one of the steamed frames. And I, I have several of these. I, I recently threw a bunch of them away. That one, I don't know if it's going to work. It's got a hole in it. Um, there's another one here. And then the, here is a piece that I had cut off of the bottom of another one of these balusters. I had two of them. Well, there's the other one over there. Um, and that could work, but I don't think it's quite thick enough up at the top. I, I like the way this is coming out. I think that's going to work out okay. Um, and so I suppose we could see if the dimensions on that would be about right. Um, and I should be able to sand that down pretty easy. Or I've got this other long piece of white oak here. It's just an off cut. It's just, I don't, you know, I save all these pieces of wood, especially oak. This is uh, wider than it is thick, but I think... If I put it on here like that, which I've already done, it gets pretty much the right dimensions that I would need, would limit the amount of cutting and sanding I would need to do. So I believe I will make one out of there, and I already took a pencil and kind of made some marks on there. I cut it out on the bandsaw, maybe take the bandsaw and cut in the, in the corners of here just a little bit and uh, see what we can do. So anyway, so then I'm trying to figure out, okay, now how do I make a pin rail? And so here's, here's the forward bulkhead at frame seven. And I had thought about trying to put it down here underneath. My biggest concern is making it strong enough so that I don't drop a sail out in the middle unintentionally because my pin rail isn't strong enough. So what I have decided to do is... I cut out these little blocks last night, and it's just, just four pieces of oak. And I can put a bolt all the way through here, all the way to the back side of this deck beam. Same thing over here. And this basically then creates a little shelf for a pin rail to go on. Um, I was working on the, um, the after king plank. You know, one of our last videos was the king plank up here at the front. Now that's the one for the back. We didn't do any video on that previously. But the first pieces of wood I cut out was this one. And it, again, was some wood out of, the, out of our oak tree. And I got it back there. And it's got the slightest little curve to it. It's not straight. So, 
even as pretty a piece of wood as it is, I decided I couldn't use it. But it's straight enough for long enough that I think I can put it in here. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to wedge that in there without. Well, you get the idea. It would rest on it would rest on those two two pieces. I can screw down through that through bolt the the pieces that'll support it and then just drill a couple of holes in here and since we're going to gaff rig I'm going to have three halyards one for the uh, one for the gaff and peak and um, then also one for the for the jib so I think I'll do one on each side pin rail on each side and then and then actually have maybe four four slots and that way if I want to flag halyard I can do that too so um, anyway that's kind of where we're at I, I, I like the way that's coming out a little belaying pin This is uh, some leftover bronze bolt I had, a quarter inch by uh, three inch. So that's good. I countersink this here, so that bolt will go in there. I already got this one on here. It doesn't go in there quite clean just because of the angle of it, but when I tighten it up, it'll, it'll go in a little, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to hit that a little bit more with the countersink. It should tighten up once we get it in there. Still got one brass or bronze washer left. Got all this stuff from Hamilton Marine. They'll send you, they'll send you one bolt if that's what you want. That worked out nicely. I'm out of nuts. So I've got, I found some lock, lock washer nuts there. I'll put it on there for temporary until I can order the right one. So I kind of see what I'm doing. Let's Okay, that's not quite tight, but you get the idea. So that's going to be my pin rail. And I've got room now to drill this in here. I'm going to have to do something with that. I'm not happy with that at all. Um, it's just got to be countersunk more. I'm not exactly sure. We'll fix it. And then that's going to go like that. And then where's my... I finally got this one done just really pretty much the way I want it. I measured this with the uh, the calipers, and I'm just just shy of half inch, which is just perfect. So I'll be able to drill my hole in there, about a half inch, and one over here, maybe over about right there, and uh, still have to make more of these, but uh, that's going to be great. So I got these curved pieces bolted through. The deck beam and uh, finally got that one the way I wanted it got that bolt head countersinked now it looks like it's sloping downhill but we have to remember that this deck beams curved up um, so I'm just trying to make this thing level and so it'll look like level with the with the hatch and so now here's my first 
Here's my first attempt at drilling my holes in here, and you can see they're not even like I was drunk when I did it. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, so this piece is, is about nine and a quarter long, and I'm about eight inches uh, in between here. In between this is about eight inches. Anyway, so I'm going to have it sticking out about a quarter of an inch over the supports. And then, of course, I need to make my holes even. Um, one thing I've got to be thinking about is that the where the mast partner is, right down underneath that king plank, which still has to be sawed off, um, it is about six inches wide. Just the hardware, the bronze hardware that you get. So I've got to have three inches on either side of here for the hardware for the mast. So that's I got to keep this over off the side. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so uh, that's my other piece of oak that I just cut since I destroyed this one and I had it all sanded down and all beautiful. Um, so rather than destroy another piece of oak, I thought oh, I got all this cedar laying around. I'll do this one. So I'm drilling these half inch holes through here with uh, a spade bit right there, half inch spade bit. And it's got a real nice sharp pointy tip on the end of it so I can drill these holes exactly where I want. It. So I finally measured and I'm like an inch and a half or inch and seven sixteenths to the edge of here and I drew a line down it and then I just put the pointy part on the middle of there. And I finally divided this into by three because nine inches, so three inches in, three inches, and now it's way more uniform. So, so now that's what it's going to look like. Now I just got to replicate that in oak. Where's my little pin? Here's my belaying pin, and there we are. So, that's basically what it's going to look like if I can ever get a piece of oak put together without wrecking it. And then, of course, I'm going to have to make some more of these little pins. But it's really very satisfying making those, making those belaying pins. So this is what it finally looks like. I had a little piece of line and tied it around there just to make sure that it would hold. Got the holes drilled where we wanted in the oak. It's not secured, but that's what it'll look like. Cool, eh? Look for Jenkins Boatworks on Facebook, too.